Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and today I get to look at the Black Panther Ulysses Claw from the Build-A-Figure in Baku Wave. It comes with a gun, comes with an additional arm. I think he looks awesome. If he could cover up those tattoos, he'd be a halfway decent J. Jonah Jameson. Maybe swap out that... Maybe swap out that head. Uh, uh, an arms dealer obsessed with vibranium. Ulysses Claw infiltrates the secret nation of Wakanda to steal a sacred metal and sell it for a hefty profit. Well, that sounds like Andy Circus to me. I mean, just look at how well he's dressed. He looks very dapper. No overcoat, but that would inhibit his little blasty claw thing. So let's take it out of the package, get a closer look, and I hope you'll join me. And here is Claw out of the package. And I think he looks halfway decent. Looks just like Andy Circus. The arm thing is incredible. Like look how gross that is as a hand splits in two and then there's a ray gun attached to it. A very good modernization of Claw from the comics. Now, in the MCU, Claw lost his hand because Ultron just went chopped it off and I guess he replaced it with a laser, as you do. The figure itself, pretty basic, double jointed knees, but then you get to the elbows and they did kind of a uh, single jointed elbow for both because it's a swappable arm. That's right. So you just take that, you peg the new one on and you can make it through airport security. No questions asked, but no one's going to pose it like that because that's boring. That's boring. You want the, the ray gun hand. And you know what? I'm going to give him the gun too, because I think it looks freaking awesome. This suit, I think, is a little weird. Watch this. So you're looking at it, you're like, oh, wow, that's an overcoat. It certainly is, because that comes off completely, tie included. It's, uh, it adds a little bit of unnecessary weight to him. It's really thick. I don't know. It, I kept looking at it in the package, and I'm going, something's off about this. Well, yeah, look, it's like super thick plastic. I don't get it. Uh, the Andy Circus resemblance, really great. I like the scar on his head, the, you know, the, the grin on his face. Looks incredible. The skin tone, though, doesn't match exactly on the arm compared to the head. Just a little bit darker when you get up to the head. The arms look very untanned, but I don't know if that's the case of it being a uh, robot arm or what. But let's say on this arm, I like the tattoos. They came out really clean. Uh, legs, you know, basic articulation. There's nothing, there's nothing mind blowing about this. I mean, it does have some ab crunch, but you're never going to use it because this thing's on. Like, look at that. It's there. It's there, but you're never going to use it. Let's get, uh, let's get Killmonger in here for a decent size comparison. And then we'll take a look at the accessories a little bit closer, and then we'll give it a final score. And here's your size comparison between Killmonger and Claw. And I think they scale very well. However, I, uh, you know, I can't see that Michael B. Jordan face. There he is. All right. So Claw is slightly shorter, I guess. All right. I can see that. Does the does the mask fit on Claw? Hey, it does. Give me that mask back. No. Taking a look at the accessories, we've got a very unpainted gun. It's fine. But the real main event is this additional arm, and it plugs right in at the elbow. Gives it kind of a lifelike appearance, but you can tell there's something off, something in the mold that just says, that seems unnatural. And then you go, oh, look, he's got a ray gun that splits his hand. And that just looks, that looks great. So what do I think about Claw? Well, I think that all things considered, I think he's really only got the one pose. I think he's got the, you know, arm out to there. I mean, that's the main event is that arm with the cool laser cannon, the claw, if you will. Uh, three out of five? I don't know. Pretty basic figure, basic accessories, the paint's nice, the likeness to Andy Circus is there, but then it just kind of phones it in with a lot of other uh, aspects. So, I don't know. The arm's cool. Do you think that's worthy of a four just for an arm accessory? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, 
And make sure you check me out also on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. And remember, uh, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love. There he goes. Bye, Claw.